Thank you. My name is Kevin Woodbury for Twin Sun Tutorials. Today I'm going to look at a photograph that I have in Lightroom, but I've actually transferred that over to Photoshop. And what I'd like to do is um, make some edits using the clone tool. Now you'll see in front of you that the picture needs quite a bit of work. The first thing I'd like to do is take the grass that's in this forefront on the left and move it over to the area that's uh, brown. And I, I shouldn't actually say move it, I want to copy it over. So the easiest way to do it is if I use the clone tool, which is the rubber stamp tool in your toolbar. It's about eh, just about a halfway, maybe a little less down the toolbar. But if you put your cursor over it and let it hover for a minute, it should say clone stamp tool. So I want to click on that and depending on where I was prior to this, my cursor may change to a circle or it may have already been that. But I'd like to show you quickly how to make that larger and smaller and it's a keyboard shortcut. And all you have to do is hit the right bracket key and this will enlarge the circle. If you want to make it smaller, you hit the left bracket key. So just a, a quick shortcut tool that may help you. And in order to copy anything within the clone tool, First, I have to tell it where I want to copy from. Now, I'm going to position my cursor somewhere over here near the grass. And I'm going to go ahead and hold down my Option key on a Mac or an Alt key on a PC. And notice the circle changes to crosshairs. Now, the crosshair allows you to identify where you want to start copying from. So I'm going to keep it roughly where it is, and I'm going to click down on the mouse button, or if you're using a digitizing pad, you just touch down with the pen, and then let everything go. Um, that tells the system where it wants to start to copy from. Now to start the copy process, I go over to where I want that grass to go, and I'm going to just click on my mouse button, or if you're on a digitizing pad, you just touch down with the pen, and you just kind of paint where you want that grass to go. And notice on the left side, you'll see that crosshair without the circle around it, and it's showing you where it's copying from. And I'm just going to kind of go and fill in this space, and whatever happens to come up, it's better than brown. So I'm just going to kind of go in circles, maybe. Um, you do have to be a little careful with the clone tool, however, because you may sometimes get things you don't want, like this leg of the tripod, which shouldn't have been in the picture in the first place. And so I'm just kind of painting. And again, pay attention to where the crosshair is because that's where it's copying from. Now notice I've kind of run out of grass um, at this point. Uh, when I'm down in this area, my cursor is off the screen, so there's nothing to clone from. So I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to click about there. So I hold again, I hold the Option and the Alt key down, and I click and let everything go. And then I can come back in here, and I can kind of fill in and get rid of that tripod leg. And then go down here and do some more cloning. And again, I'm running out of space, so I come back to, say, about here. Hold down the Alt or the Option key, click down, let everything go. And then put my cursor in place, press down on the mouse button, and paint in the rest. So by doing this, I've actually copied from the left side, the foreground, uh, the grassy area, to where that dirt was. And there's just a little bit more here. And you can sample from any place you want. I could sample from in here and, and get this bush out in the front, which I prefer not to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of finish this. One thing you do have to be careful of with the clone tool, however, is that it's easy to, to show patterns within the areas that you're copying from. So I always like to kind of just do a little click on a new area, do a little bit, click on a new area. And that way you don't tend to get a pattern or anything identifiable or, or an area that may mimic over here and be very obvious. So it's, it's always good to kind of do just a little bit, sample, do a little bit, sample, do a little bit. And by sampling, again, I'm talking about holding down the Alt or the Option key, clicking down, letting it go. That's a sample. So if you, if you look at the picture now in front of you, I filled in um, where the 
grass uh, was absent in front of the gate and I'm just kind of filling in a little bit more over here to make it look a little bit um, more consistent and you can you can do that you can leave it the way it is truthfully in some ways now I'm gonna have to fill in some of some of this with this uh, I'm not quite sure what that is but I guess it's a bush um, so you, you do have to be careful and notice when I came over here my my clone tool picked up this gate and started painting it so if if that happens just click in another area of grass paint over it and you're done now all in all I probably should have stopped at the gate so one thing you can do and it's a keyboard shortcut is if you hold down the command key and the option key on a Mac or the control and the alt key on a PC and hit the Z every time you hit it it backs up a step and so I'm gonna back up until I was just about there I think that's okay um, I might try to get rid of this I guess that's a rock so I'm gonna just clone from here to here and so that gets rid of that and I'm gonna probably just touch a little bit on this area here to maybe make it blend in a little bit better um, and that is the clone tool in in a nutshell um, if you have any questions um, please email me my name is Kevin Woodbury for Twin Suns Tutorials I hope this has helped have a great day see you next time take care as an addendum to the discussion on the clone tool I should mention that there are times where you may inadvertently hit something that causes the system to give you this type of clone now that's um, actually a tool within the Photoshop suite but it's something that you may not expect and in order to correct that that's fairly easy you hold down the command option and Z key in the Mac or the control alt Z key in a PC uh, but then to correct that you have to go up to the icon for the clone tool and you'll notice if you click on it and hold the mouse down there are actually two tools under that button what's happened when you get that blue pattern is that somehow you've gone down to the fan, uh, to the pattern stamp tool to correct it simply go and highlight the um, clone stamp tool let it go and now you're back in business hope that helps take care have a good day